Hello YouTube and welcome back to Ground Fox Plays KSP and in today's episode we will be going back on the Minmus. We have only did the one hop and I want to do a lot more hops. However, we have some science to spend and 181 to be exact and I want to spend it on something good. So, specialized control, that's a two and a half meter marks, advanced supersonic flight. Specialized construction, that's the big fairing, that's nice. And also clampatron, docking port, some nose cones, stack separators, B coupler, tri couplers, engine plate. That might be handy, structural tube or advanced fuel systems for some bigger tanks. And 1.8 tanks that I have are not doing enough justice, so I actually might be doing precision propulsion. I think I'm gonna go with advanced fuel systems. They will give me the 1800 fuel tanks. So I don't have to rely longer on this ugly tank that we have. And the next one will be definitely the Nerva, yes. I want to be getting that one sooner rather than later, so yes. All right, let's see what we got. We got our interstellar probe and I will be exporting it to the steam as always. Of course, it will be have been, by the time you're watching this, it should have been made available. I just figured I'd do it. Now, which one to take as a new landing craft or whatnot? Should I go with the new craft or just take the existing? That's a good question. I'm considering to be probably gonna take the, the new or the old one. I mean, if after all it's working, the problem was with the Delta V. It had a lot less Delta V in it than I would like it to have. However, the initial premise is good, so I think I'm gonna replace you with the tank that I have just purchased, because why else would I be putting it there? See? Highly uninnovative, but it should give us some more panache, so to say, so... And I want to be placing this, uh, yeah, seismic sensor, yes, thank you. That will be giving us some science and 5,175 meters per second. Just checking the stages, U2 fire, then followed by the, all right. Let's see. Now, I might want a bigger tank here, just in case. Maybe not. Not really worth it. How about if I replace this tank? Because that would be give me more hopping time. So if I put the, the bigger tank here, it's a minor, minor upgrade, but I think it should be necessary. So let me just quickly check. Yes, if I place a bigger one instead of this one, we should be a okay. Hopefully. Right. Let's take a bigger one. Come on. Which one is bigger? You're the big one. The two? No. Come on. The two tanks? I don't know. Doesn't sell it very well for me. Oh well, maybe we just leave it as is. Too many legs for my taste, I want four. There we go, and something like that. Five, three, nine, five. Well, I'm guess I, I would be okay with that. Anything else? Launch clamps? Yeah, let's put them like this. And the other ones like this. Just make sure that we stage correctly. Uh, 
I think we're good. Let's take, let's put the custom action groups. Let's put Val, I mean you're the Minmus expert, and Bob, as always. Our, that's our Minmus team, so to say. Minmus Explorer Mark II. This will take two Kerbals to Minmus and hopefully do some biome hopping, and that's what I'm hoping. At least, uh, you know, two hops. Let's put some lights. Alright, turn it correctly, thank you, and let's launch the sucker. Three, two, one, and ignition, come on. We have liftoff. As always, rocket hot, running hot straight and normal, and the first set of boosters detaching. Second set of boosters detaching. Third set of boosters about to be detached at my mark. Mark. And we are riding up with the last two boosters. That should get us probably up to our apoapsis and maybe even some small part of the circularization. Maybe not, but one can be optimistic. Nah, it will burn out. All right, dump on. And uh, sooner rather than later, we are circularizing, but with a total of 3.7 Delta V. That's quite a lot. I will know how much uh, fuel I have once I get to Minmus. Right, let's open the solar panels, although we don't have sun yet. They want to be prepared and turn in the right direction and all that jazz. So now we have to circularize first, correct the inclination later, and then do the minimus transfer. So just the alignment burns and all the usual stuff. We have a total of 1,111 meters per second to burn. Six hundred meters per second. Three hundred meters per second. And we are, have successfully circularized. Perfect. And we have twenty four hundred meters per second, which should be more than enough. Okay, we aim at Minmus, as always, correct the inclination at the descending node. Alright. Correcting ever so gently. So, 243.8 meters per second, and that's supposed to happen soon. Let's warp until it does. I'm really getting fond of this warp to here, actually. Now, let's see. Getting ready and burning. Corrected inclination, perfect. There we go, so let's get us ourselves a minimus encounter. A good one, because we really want to be landing this time. Alright. 
Right. So, pointing maneuver prograde with a total of 911 meters per second to burn. Which means we will be getting into Minmus with around 1300 meters per second, which is, I admit, it's pretty beefy. All right, let's uh, get ready for the burn. All right, let's see how we can do it. So. All right, so 900 meters per second and let's burn. Burning, 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 400 meters per second and stage. That leaves us up to 1256 after fine tuning. Well, last time when we were around Minmus, we had around 600, so I'd say that's good enough. Should at least account for one hop. One landing and one hop, and I'm happy. That should be a considerable amount of science. Lining up a correction maneuver node ever so carefully. So, let's see, right now, all right, let's see now, we have a total of 1246 seconds. Now let's take a look as we depart Kerbin. So let's see how we go. Beautiful screenshot as we leave Kerbin. Going onwards to Minmus. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome screenshot. I want to take that one for sure. Now, let's see. Uh, Where is Minmus? Oh, there it is, a tiny little stone that will gonna get a bigger and bigger in our sights. Very green and minty. Oh, look at it. Here we go, beautiful. All right, we're getting gonna get into its sphere of influence. We just need to see how are we gonna approach it so that we can actually Come on and oh, right that way. Now let's just correct the inclination and make sure that we get ourselves a nice landing somewhere. So five meters per second for the correction. That's pretty cheap. And as you can see, we are, have arrived with some 1240 meters per second. So that's wonderful. Twice as much as we had previously. Almost. Right now, minimus periapsis. I want to have a maneuver at the periapsis itself. Would be great to align and hold on just carefully so let's see uh, we have all right periapsis point maneuver prograde 
and let's enjoy as Minman, Minmus gets ever so closer into the picture. So, EVA report, yeah, these we have already done. Right, fair enough. Deploy the fairing, let's get rid of it. Observe the materials bay, nope. So, closing in on Minmus. Mmm, minty. Alright, getting closer to our maneuver node burn. Our burn time will be a total of 6 seconds, so might as well accelerate a little bit closer. Perfect. Hitting the gas. There we go. Perfect. 29 by 25, that's good enough. And then we're gonna not gonna beat around the bush, we're gonna go straight for the landing. And I think these great flats would be a good place as any, so might as well, you know, just go a little, little bit ahead and then. Right. Okay, orbit retrograde, let's reduce the periapsis and make sure that we will be hitting the ground, which we will. Hitting the ground by I'm hitting ground, I mean gently landing, sorry, I stand corrected. Alright, time warping down. There we go. Extending the landing gear or landing legs. So sooner rather than later I'll be stopping down. Let's see where are we headed. We're heading straight for the edge of that slope. Well that doesn't sound bad now does it? Maybe I could then get two biomes hit. Oops, I think that might have overdid it in terms of getting onto the slope. So I might need to correct that. Come on. Let me just see how it looks. Getting down. Let's just see what the slope looks like, shall we? Valentina, yeah, I can see you're enjoying yourself. That's nice. Oh, that slope doesn't look good at all. I'm supposed to be landing here. Wait, what? Uh, whoa, hell no. Um, nope. I'm not gonna be landing there. Let's go over there, shall we? I want to give it a little nudge in the right direction, and by nudge I mean thrust in the right direction until we get a flat area. Sorry. I mean, that was really nerve-wracking, sorry. coming down somewhere towards the blueish mark oh this hillside is so steep
quite steep actually all right so let's just burn until we slow down come on easy does it chief oh uh, here we go perfect closer gentle 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 and oop, 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 oops yeah I might want to be correcting that one as well dang it I was hoping for a flatter area there we go slowing down almost oh there we go I have killed the I still have to kill the vertical moment oops there we go gently gently you can do it you can do it and oh hoppity hop hop there we go look at that oh much better than the last time okay crew report materials bay great flats perfect seismic data pressure data thermometer data mystery goo thank you so much and then eva eva report thank you what about the surface sample would you be kind enough to collect one bill or sorry that was not bill that was bob override the eva report no but take the surface sample thank you so much plant the flag will you feel sort of like a deja vu i mean you've been went to another area on minmus and did exactly the same but it's good to mark minmus great flats conquered thank you now val will you be going out come on it's a nice day and it's minty outside let's go out and take a selfie if nothing else yeah there we go and screeny perfect thank you now time for the second hop we don't have much time so we have a not a moment to lose bob come back in and reset the experiments will you i know we research ladders so we don't really need them on minmus I mean, the jetpacks are doing a fantastic job anyway. Oh, why doesn't it allow me to reset? Oh, because I have never collected the science, the science data. Toe, you dummy. So let's collect the science data now. Collect all. Thank you. Now I can collect the data. Restore and you restore. Thank you. Now, I think we should just go a little bit up and on top of the hill. What do you think, guys? Let's just do it. Somewhere around here. 572 meters per second. Like I said, I think that should be enough to get us back to Kerbin. No, we have to be landed. Okay, no point in checking for more signs, but the EVA should be fine. Okay, that's the lowland, so now we go up and then we'll go down. Jeez, 9k up. That's a little bit an overkill. Let's fold down the solar panels. just to be on the safe side getting ready for the second or for the hop line landing down i'm worried about the slope i hope it will be gentler than it was in the previous landing <laughs> 
That was just that, that slope was just bonkers. Okay, let's put in the thrust. I think it's good that the all thrusters are on the max thrust for landing. Alright. Small hops and finally coming down. Careful Val, careful. We don't know how sloped it is. Three and two, one and touchdown. Perfect landing Val, if I dare say so. Now let's do crew report. Lowlands, wonderful. Mystery goo, lowlands, thank you. Seismic, brush mat. There we go, and materials bay, thank you. EVA, EVA report, thank you. Surface sample, if you don't mind. No, 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 not the stool sample, the surface sample. Yes, thank you. All right, Bob. Minmus, Lowlands, Concord as well, thank you. Lowlands are similar to flats. Well, I don't know what you have been drinking, but well, no more juice for you. All right, let's board, get everything into the container, EVA, restored experiments. Who knows, we might still use them at some point. Thank you. All right, so time to go. I sure as hell think so. Going straight for the 90 degrees and our periapsis is already at 15 so we're good all right let's make it uh, able to circularize retract and extend the solar panels thank you Okay, getting ready for the time warp. All right, I think we have circularized, so we're getting ready for the return back to Kerbin. Now let's set up a maneuver node somewhere here. Now let's play with it. Okay, this gives us a good enough encounter. 23 million periapses if we take it lower move it a little bit closer oh there's an encounter with something 9.3 9.2 yeah i know we could get the gravity assist i don't wanna And okay, the periapsis seems 24597, that's perfect for a return. Turn around and then we will be doing the 173 meters per second burn. We have a total, it's in 19 minutes, so let's accelerate until then. So we're getting ready. Four more seconds to burn or two. All right, oopsie daisy. Look at that. Our carbon periapsis is 37. I'd say that's good enough. Let's thrust limit the engines and just cut a little bit of it. I want my carbon periapsis to be 24-ish. 
There we go. Awesome. And I'm thinking that I'm probably running on fumes again. Yeah, apparently so. As if we have absolutely learned nothing from the previous episode, apart from that, that we can get away, get away with stupid things. Alright. Leaving Minmus. Thank you for the science. I'm really eager to see, by the way, guys, how much we science we will get out of this one. There's Kerbin, and let's watch as we approach it. The beautiful dance of the planets. It never, it never gets boring. There we go, coming close to the Kerbin, getting ready to go for the arrow capture. Okay, perfect. Let's fold in the solar panels, fold in the antennas, I don't think we have any, and we'll get ready for the re-entry. To 150,000. And we're going once again for the night re-entry, aren't, aren't we? <laughs> well, what can you do? burning ever so slightly so let's increase the thrust Psst, and done jettison everything and yeah let's have fun re-entering oopsie ow 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 oh well at least our heat shield is holding up Twenty three kilometers, and soon enough the heating effects start to well not be so much pronounced. Some doing some more last minute science. Everything is collected, and that means we'll just need to collect our kerbals. All right, so one thousand, and yeah, the parachutes deploy, and we're going down at six meters per second. Perfect. So we're coming in for the touchdown and I think we might be able to perform some little bit more science because this is desert. I mean landed on desert so yeah. Let's do it. There we go. Nope. Nope. I guess I already landed here. Mr. Egu gives some and seismic accelerometer and that's it. Well guys, EVA report, no, surface sample, yes. Good, time to recover. Well, as always guys, you know what to do. I mean, we have come to the end of the episode. Like if you like, 12,004.3, holy moly. And we will be spending most of that in the next episode. Uh, as always guys, you know what to do like if you like the episode hit subscribe for more and i will be seeing you in the next one until then thank you very much for watching this is gromforks signing off <laughs>